Welcome to this Fine R&D 2018 demo. I'm Peter Larsen from Loudsoft. With Fine R&D, you can measure all speakers up to 100 kHz in a normal room. So you do not need to build an expensive anechoic chamber anymore. Looking at the top left figure, we see the direct sound indicated by the green arrow, whereas the red arrows indicate the reflection from the floor. The Fine Andy software will analyze this in the time domain shown in the center picture. Here we see the reflection as a yellow impulse arriving a little later. This will be filtered out by the time window, giving us the true anechoic response shown at the right. Here I have measured a tweeter, this is the white curve here, and I have used 192 kHz sampling so that we can measure that the response is extending almost up to 100K. The dashed line is the acoustic phase, which was measured at the same time. Now I want to measure this tweeter at 30 degrees off axis, so I just press this macro button. and it will be the blue curve number two. We just need to add 30 degrees to the label. Here we go. This little tweeter is actually measured at a shorter distance, uh, 31 centimeters, and then converted to 2.83 volts one meter, which is the industry standard. So all these curves were normalized as that. And I had already saved the 60 degrees curve, the red one here, and we have already uh, done the impedance. So this is a complete measurement of the tweeter. And in these measurements are auto automatically saved the time responses that we can use for distortion and waterfall and so on. Fine R&D 2018 is using the new Fine Hardware 3. This hardware is using fast USB, so we can sample a 4896 and 192 kHz. And all measurements are done in the hardware, so only the results are transferred to the PC. Because the system has fully balanced inputs and outputs, we can do a lot of fine measurements. Loudspeaker drivers and systems, including active and Bluetooth speakers. But also headphones and microphones can be measured. You can measure directly on crossover circuits, and you can measure amplifiers, including Class D amplifiers. Now I have turned on some more curves. We can actually display up to 16 responses. Uh, let's focus on number 10, which is a six inch woofer. This is the green curve. Now I'll highlight those only and also the impedance. Showing the time window, we now can load the time data from curve number 10 and see this is the response where we put in the window. And in this case, we can see there's a reflection here around six, seven milliseconds. So maybe we can enlarge the window slightly. Yes, this will work and we can put this curve back. Maybe we would like to see this curve with smoothing. I can just select, and in this case, half an octave smooth, and then we put this back where it came from. Now the green curve is shown with half an octave smoothing, but we can always come back because the original data is always saved. Now we'll find the TS parameters or TS wall parameters by curve feeding. So we import this impedance curve by dragging there, and now we reset and calculate by curve feeding. And here all the small parameters calculated very accurately. We can also measure the distortion, for example, from this 6 inch woofer. We see the THD as the Y curve and then second up to ninth harmonic. We can also show these as responses in dB. This is the waterfall for the 6 inch woofer. We see resonances dying out and we see reflections in time. And to illustrate that further, we can open this time curtain and there we can see details that are hidden behind. This is an example of dispersion measurements. 
we have measured this two-way speaker for every 15 degrees in the horizontal plane around the speaker. Now the software has automatically converted the off-axis responses to this contour plot, which shows the dispersion in colors. We can also show this in the normal way, which is the polar plot with lines for uh, individual frequencies. The real-time analyzer can, when it's running, show responses as uh, vertical columns in third octave or less. It's very useful for comparing responses, for example, when you place speakers in a room. This is the end of the Fine D demo. Actually, both Fine D and Fine QC use the same Fine hardware. You can download the D manual from the website lovesoft.com if you want more info. So these programs all are part of the Fine Circle where we have simulation software on the left side and measuring systems on the right side. And you can import files between all the different programs. Thank you.